Hey guys, in today's video I will be talking about the banners of 4.5 up to 4.8 but I will also mention the potential date for your live streams and the release date of each patch up to 5.0. Now we all know that the 4.4 live stream has already happened and it will be released on the 30th of January and as you guys can see on the screen the banners are Xian Yun alongside Nahida with the new 4 star character Gaming being featured in this banner. And in the second phase we will have Xiao and Yai Miko so I was pretty much correct in my last video where I talked about banners and also we will get three new skins for Ganyu, Shenha and Shengzhou and if you want the ones for Shenha and Ganyu you will have to purchase them by using Genesis Crystals and the one for Shengzhou will be given for free for a limited time during the event. So now let's move on to version 4.5 and here's the date for the live stream and the release and so based on the new info that we have there has been some major changes to this patch First off, the Sumera festival is apparently not happening in 4.5 and it has been moved to another patch. We will get Shiori, the 5 star Geo Sword user, alongside Albedo, potentially in the first phase. And the second phase will finally bring forth the long awaited triple banners. And based on some rumors, the three characters are Shenha, Linny, and Risley. Although, take it with a grain of salt because it's not 100% confirmed. And now, let's talk about 4.6. And here's the date for the live stream and the potential release, as I said before. And remember, I said the Sumeru festival isn't happening in 4.5 and it has been moved so apparently it has been moved to 4.6 and it means that Nilu and Elhaithen will get their reruns for sure but that's not all we will finally have Arlequino become a playable character and she is going to be a pyro 5 star character either polearm or sword we're not sure about that as of now and Farina and Nuvolet based on the rerun patterns of previous regions are going to get their reruns together which I think if they're together their banner sales are going to be crazy and especially their weapon banner is going to be one of the more crazier ones and the last potential character for this patch is none other than Kokomi. Now moving on to 4.7 and here's the date for live stream and release and we now have some new interesting info as well. Chlornet was already anticipated to debut in 4.7 and we all know that she's a 5 star electro sword user but now more sources are inclined to say that Sigwen is almost certainly a 4 star hydro bow healer and will be featured in the same banner as Clornet. And the other rumored characters to get their reruns are Ito, Ganyu, Wanderer, and Eula. And last but not least, patch 4.8. And here's the date as I previously showed for other patches as well. Now this patch will have a new character called Emily as a 5 star character that we do not have a lot of info about her and characters like Dahlia, Mommy Girl and Prison Girl are also going to be introduced in either this patch or 4.7 either as 4 star or 5 stars but surely not all of them are going to be 4 star or 5 stars because it wouldn't make much sense. And other potential characters that are going to get their reruns are Kazuha, Klee, Navia and maybe Yelan. Now once again take everything that I say with a grain of salt and here's the bonus info about patch 5.0 release date which will be the start of Natlin which I know that is still a few months away but it's still nice to know and if you have any ideas or any suggestions or anything you would like to share comment down below and I will happily read them and like and subscribe for more videos in the future it helps me more than you guys know I appreciate every single one of you guys that supported me so far and as always wishing you guys all the luck in the world have a good day or night and peace.